Hello, my name is Douglas Block. Welcome to the Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. Today is Flashback Friday, a feature in which I republish one of my earlier videos you might not have seen that contains really important coping strategies that will help you attain a better mood. Now, here's today's video. This week's video is called, Are You Anxious? Take this test and find out. And before we answer that question, I'm going to start with my new ritual of telling something funny. Uh, I saw a t-shirt the other day that had three lines on it. The first line read, Let's go eat, Grandma. The second line read, Let's go eat, Grandma. And the third line read, Commas save lives. <laughs> Right, so now we're going to talk about anxiety, and before we basically uh, can answer the question about, you know, am I anxious, we have to know what anxiety are we talking about, because there are actually seven different anxiety disorders um, that have been identified by the psychiatric profession. This is why anxiety disorders are, are the most common disorders in the world. America alone, 55 million people with anxiety disorders, so some of them are You've heard panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, OCD, and agoraphobia, and finally, generalized anxiety disorder, or GAD, and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're doing so because by far, it is the most common disorder out there. In fact, a recent study showed that 85 people, or 85% of people who suffer from depression also suffer from generalized anxiety disorder. And because these uh, two conditions so often occur together, they've been called the fraternal twins of mood disorders. Believed to be caused in part by malfunction of brain chemistry, generalized anxiety disorder is not like the normal anxiety you would feel before taking a test or maybe giving a talk. People who suffer from anxiety <clears throat> suffer from what Franklin D. Roosevelt called fear itself. Somehow, in a way not understood, the fight-or-flight mechanism gets activated and a person feels like they're threatened even though no real threat exists. So you can say that being chronically anxious is like being stalked by an imaginary tiger. Um, no matter how much you try to assure yourself that things are okay, uh, you always feel in danger. So, to answer the question, am I anxious or do I have generalized anxiety disorder, I'm going to ask you a series of simple yes or no questions. When you hear them, write down why for yes, or N for no. If you want to now, you can uh, get a piece of paper and uh, pause the video. So when you come back, you'll be ready to go. You can also write these notes on your phone. And at the end of the questions, I'll tell you how to score the test. So here's the first question. Question one, have you been experiencing excessive anxiety or worry more days than not for at least six months? Now, when we did the depression test, we said that the depressive symptoms had to be going on for two weeks or longer. But to have a diagnosis of anxiety, it has to be going on at least six months or a half a year. So answer that question, yes or no. The second question is, have you had trouble controlling this worry or anxiety? Has it been getting out of hand and so you haven't got a handle on it? Again, yes or no. Now here comes the critical question, question three. Are your worry and anxiety associated with at least three of the following symptoms? I'm gonna read six to you. And if you have three or more, then you're probably going to be diagnosed with GAD. The first one is a general feeling of restlessness or being keyed up or being on edge. The second one is being easily fatigued, tired. The third is difficulty concentrating or having your mind go blank. The fourth is being irritable. The fifth symptom is having muscle tension. And the sixth is sleep disturbances, difficulty falling asleep, or difficulty staying asleep. So to quickly go over them again, a number one is being restless and keyed up. The number two is being easily fatigued. Number three is difficulty concentrating or your mind going blank. Number four is muscle tension. Number five is being irritable. And number six is difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. The next question is, are these symptoms causing you significant distress in your life so they're interfering with your functioning? Specifically, you're working, you're engaging with people, your relationships, friends, family relationships, or any other area of function that you can think of that these are getting in the way of. Because, you know, we can all be a little worried, we can all be a little obsessive, but we can still live our lives. 
But when the symptoms start to kind of cross over and affect our lives and how we're doing, and especially affect our work and our relationships, then it becomes seriously. And finally, now, are these um, symptoms, can they be explained by a reaction to uh, a substance like a medication or a drug of abuse or uh, a medical condition like hyperthyroidism? If they can, then you don't have GAD because it's a medical problem. But if they can't, if it's not a matter of drug abuse or a medication reaction or having uh, hyperthyroidism, if that's not the case, then you definitely have uh, these symptoms explained by being anxious and especially having generalized anxiety disorder. So, if you have answered yes to these five questions, then you are probably one of the tens of millions of people in, around the world who have generalized anxiety disorder. And by the way, if you want to review the questions very briefly, you can either rewind uh, the video or in the comments section, I have them all five written down, plain sight so you can read them over. Now, don't worry. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> if someone's anxious, say don't worry. <laughs> but you shouldn't because anxiety like depression is highly treatable. Uh, people get over this all the time. And I've made two recent videos that share my insights on how to basically overcome anxiety. Uh, the first one is called How to Rewire Your Anxious Brain. And the other is called My Top 5 Strategies for Keeping Anxiety at Bay. And I can give you a preview of those five strategies. They're exercise, paced breathing, muscle relaxation, connecting with others, and medications. So if you go ahead on my channel and in the search bar, type in these uh, titles, How to Rewire Your Anxious Brain and My Top 5 Strategies for Keeping Anxiety at Bay. If you type them in, the videos will pop right up and you'll be able to watch them. And one more thing I want to mention, uh, the links to these two videos I just described to you, they will be put in the description uh, section right below the image of the video. This has been Douglas Block. I hope you found the information on this Flashback Friday video helpful. If so, please give it a like as likes draw more and more people to this channel and hopefully some more subscribers. Uh, you can also leave your comments in the comments section or email me douglasblock at gmail.com. If you do want to subscribe to this channel, click on my photo in the closing credits. You'll be taken to my subscribe page. And if you click on the bell to the right, you'll be notified every time I do a new video or live chat. And if you want to contribute to this uh, channel and become a patron, simply click on the Patreon image. You'll be taken to my crowdfunding site. And until next video, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you so much.